this episode, I'm going to be talking about the calendar of the major plate. Now, the world machine has many different regions, and these all have their own specific years, uh, different lengths of time, which just pertain to this, uh, that place alone. Uh, but for, for this uh, episode, we're just going to be talking about the calendar of the world machine's major plate. A full revolution of the world machine is exactly 30 years, a measurement of time which the people of the major plate call a chronicle. Now, a full revolution of the major side of the world machine is five years, and a full revolution of the minor side of the world machine is six years. So the lowest common denominator of these two is 30 which means that the entire machine comes back to its original configuration only once in 30 years. The world machine is a very exact device. Uh, it's a clockwork, it's, it's a technological device, and so it really doesn't have room for error when we talk about days, months, years, and time. So there are no leap years or such in the world machine. Basically, a year is exactly 360 days and the major plate revolves one degree per day. A week on the major plate is nine days. And in terms of working hours, that means you work for three days, you have one off. You work for another three days, and then you have two off. So there's kind of like a midweek uh, weekend, if you will, on the fourth day. There are three weeks in a month on the major plate. And one season is three months plus one additional week making it exactly 90 days. So the extra week, which is added to the beginning of a month in the world machine, is a festival week. This festival uh, heralds the change of season and is a celebration in almost every culture on the major plate. And it's a nice way to also make the entire season add up to exactly 90 days. The obverse is on the top. But today, so, uh, make a pipe for the